Hello, welcome, welcome investors to another episode of Thing for Beginners. So today I want to go over some Q and A and see where that takes us. Can I go over some goals and some things that to happen this year that I want to take um, YouTube direction, the group direction, all that. Um, this is the first live stream of a very long time, so I just want to make sure everything is looking good and that we're doing it directly for everyone out there. Now, I'm just going to double check real quick everything's running smoothly and then we'll continue on i got some um comments that some subscribers left and that i want to see and then there is also some um stuff we are going to go over so yeah welcome live stream see how long we can do this for and see if we can get the hang of it and go from there so yeah welcome to everyone who is watching this either live or on a recording later on. Uh, I will work on some of the um, lighting and everything as time goes on. But for now, um, let's go ahead and get into some 2023 goals. That'd be awesome to get into. So we're going to go ahead and go over to sharing the screen now. And here, as you can see, our 2023 goals. Um, I did make this using Canva. It was free to make. It's a really awesome tool to use for any creator out there. So if you're a creator and you're not using Canva, you definitely should be. Really weird bot on the camera. But I'm not going to let that bother me too much oh wait for me he was the man. okay we're gonna put this up here perfect yep, it sure is okay everything's looking great everything sounds great so let's go ahead and get into it all right so guys welcome welcome to the stream um let's see how long we can do this as we continue on 2024 now i am going to show you some of the 2024 created you guys should also go it and create your own goals as well talk about some of the direction we're going to take the community that we're in the facebook seven thousand members what we're going to do now um, in 2023 um sitting down right now i'm not sure i made a video now i did make a video on 22 goals so this will be the uh third year doing it in a row it does help to write down some of your ideas and things you want to do because when you start getting a bit discouraged or it's impossible or the all the other reasons you can then come back and look at this and you can kind of go back from the beginning know it was all worth it so um did make this on canva i did use a couple of quotes that i found online the first quote being whatever the mind of man can conceive believe it can achieve Napoleon hill did say that um, great quote and then the other quote was to stay committed to decisions stay flexible to your the great as well any robins now stay committed to what your end goal is but definitely be flexible because there's going to be life that's going to change and there's certain opportunities that are going to get missed out there looking for them. so you can't beat yourself up but you also got to be flexible and know like hey this opportunity may go with it sometimes now um 
the first one is awesome too. I just I always go back to that first one. Can conceive and can achieve, and it's true. Um, believe for a long time that could. A lot of people did not do it, and there's still a huge controversy on that till today. For example, many inventions did and good. So, underestimate the power of your actually accomplish, which is another great thing. Making goals. Now, uh, 2023 was to create a Facebook community investors. Did make the community started with myself as number one and owned over 72,000. It's incredible. If you're not a part of that group, definitely check it out. I could probably leave a card or somehow. There's a link in the description below of this video, so definitely go and check that out. Really great uh, video, um, or a really great group actually. A bunch of like-minded individuals, just like you, share our same interests of stocks and money and credit, everything that you would to talk about. There is someone there that can answer a question or just talk back with you, listen, share some thoughts and ideas that you may not have even thought of yet yourself. The investing for beginners community on Facebook. It is a private group, and uh, we do allow most people to join as long as you answer the three simple questions. It's very simple to check out. So, um, with that said, I was able to create that and. Uh, so that's a check mark right there. that's number one number two was get monetized on youtube now i've been doing youtube for probably either six years or eight years it's actually been quite some time and we did get monetized i believe and i don't even remember the exact date i know i have it in my screenshot somewhere i should have pulled it up for you guys um but i did get monetized something like that may um i know it's in my canva as well that um it shows me getting monetized i wonder if i could bring that up let's see i might actually be able to bring that up so we're gonna go to the main screen real quick and since this is a live stream i don't think it would really matter too too much if do that real quick. Oh, right. So I know I have it. Let's see, we're to Canva. If you guys have any questions? Go ahead and get asked in the comments. Monitor. Um, and later on, if you guys watch this and you're not joining the live stream, definitely ask some questions later. I'm going to go to my projects here because I know I have one. It's going to be um, actually going well. So let's see. Maybe it's on the other computer, but actually, if I get on, maybe if I get on YouTube itself, it would show me. No, it would have been a screenshot. Nonetheless, uh, I am currently a partner in making money. It did take some time, but we're able to watch that, which is just fantastic. It's been one of my goals, one of my dreams to become a two partner. I was able to finally do it, which is just awesome. Um, Let's see, saying YouTube partner associated on 
December 1st, 2017. It's not right. That might be the day that I joined the program. I mean, joined actual Facebook or, oh my God, joined YouTube. But that's not when I got, got that. Now, I do know my first paycheck was, and it was $102. Man, the computer actually doesn't really show a good model of that at all. So if I go to, I'm going to go to earn, you're a YouTube partner. So it does say I'm currently a YouTube partner. I am going to put that there for you guys to see. I want to show you guys some verification that I am a YouTube partner. And it did take some time. It wasn't easy. Um, took a lot of videos. And right now we're currently at a $41.70 um, available. And when it gets to a $100 minimum, then they'll pay me out. Um, I could show you this screenshot here. It doesn't look like it shows anything. Oh, so April 21st, 2023, I made $102. So we are currently a partner and monetized. So that was a, a really great accomplishment to have. And then I pretty much didn't do anything with it for too long, right? I kind of took some time off from making videos and kind of going through some, um, some good changes that happened um, in the year to come. So let's go over some more of these here. It looks like uh, still getting used to the controls. There we go. Okay, so now, um, because we are monetized, we got a check mark for that. So really cool. If you guys have any questions on that or how to do it, strategies I had, um, you can ask. I didn't want to do a more in-depth video on it. Um, I do have a video talking about how I got my first 100 subscribers. Then I wanted to do a video on how I got my first 1,000 subscribers, but I don't think I did. Now we're sitting at 3,350 subscribers on YouTube with over 70,000 members on Facebook. So the biggest goal uh, for this year is what we'll go over that here in a minute, but is how to ties that right how do we create an in it's really cool i want to show you guys everything so that we make you guys want to do the same thing you won't have a group that you're trying to grow on Facebook. channel you're trying to grow maybe you're just here because you want to learn some more investing tips which is awesome it also says q a so you know if you have a question or something go ahead and feel free to ask um now the next one was to start a biz for the community. Now, there was other goals on here. There was probably about 10. I did take three of them out because they seemed a little far-fetched and a little bit crazy for a one-year goal. Like to be 100% out of debt in one year is crazy if you owe a lot of money. It might not be crazy to some if you owe a lot of money, but like um, you're not gonna pay off a house in one year. So I took a few off that were a little far-fetched toward the beginning of the year. That's why there's some empty space right here. But uh, number three, I left there to show you guys that it is okay to not get some of your goals. It's okay to not accomplish some of your goals. Right? So number three was start a biz for the community. I was thinking something that could be local, something that we could bring in to enrich the community. Say that there's a shortage of lumber, you know, trying to figure out a shortage of a certain particular material a shortage of baby clothing or a shortage of food in a certain way. Um, did not really have time for 2020, nor a good, uh, really way to start looking at that. I have a few ideas now in 2024, but I'm probably going to take a step back. Um, so no, I did not accomplish that one, which is okay. That's something else that may not take just one year, take several years to develop over time. Uh, the fourth one was to save and invest 10% of all income. 
that was really easy to do only because I've been investing for so long, spent six to eight years doing investing content and working with Robinhood and now Webull and Umu. Those are all great trading platforms that you can use to get started as an investor. So definitely check those out. I have links in the description below if you do want to check those out. Sign up with any of those. You'll get a free share. I'll get free shares. All that fun jazz. If you're in the investing community, you know somewhat about that. So, and you may already have an account. I also have tons and tons of videos on YouTube talking about investing, talking about Robinhood, Google. I've done reviews on real estate, credit, stuff like that. So, definitely check it out. And then, so we were able to accomplish that. Um, save at least, save and invest at least 10%. That was that was really cool, really easy but hard, right? Because basically you have to live off of ten percent less, not just ten percent less for the year, but when you break it down, it's ten percent for the percent less week, day, etc. So um, it can be easy to some and can be difficult to most. What I did for that was basically started with like five dollars a paycheck, increase that to say fifty dollars a paycheck kept increasing it until I got to the 10% come. Number five was to read 24 books for success. Um, that one was fairly easy. That's two books a month. It's like one book every two weeks. Never really was a big reader uh, when I was growing up. I usually just wanted to basically skate around. Nothing. I didn't really about a lot of this stuff when I was younger, but now that I'm older, definitely read a lot more. Some books I could think of right now is like the Day Trading 101, um, Unshakable by Tony Robbins, Think, um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Um, another one I'm reading right now is uh, um. Zen, Zen like a zombie, and emotion, uh, something uh, emotional 2.0 or something. Emotional intelligence 2.0. Can't think of the author's name, but um, those last two are the ones I'm currently reading right now. So sometimes it's a two books at once, kind of mix it up a little bit. Maybe this night you want to read this one, the next night you want to read another. As long as you're getting at least two a month, I was able to. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, and you definitely learn a lot, attain a lot too, as well. Um, number six, do something good for the community. I guess that kind of goes along the lines of starting a business for the community. You know, I was thinking maybe some kind of volunteer work, something, right? But I mean, we live in a really small town, so a lot of businesses, or really even a lot of people for the matter. So maybe we'll figure something out there. Another year or time, don't know. But I did leave it on there because it's good, again, to show some of your losses and thinking about during that year or the year before. Then number seven was to buy for a house. Now, that one was really cool. Um, if you want to know more about that, leave a comment below. I could talk more in depth about how I was able to acquire my first property, how we got it process stuff like that uh, we didn't use a bank so that's kind of a look to some more questions definitely do so so um yeah looks like we're going on eh, not even sure 12 minutes 15 minutes um See, we're gonna check real quick on the health quality of everything. Oh, hello, hello. welcome, welcome. To live stream, glad to have you. Looks like we've been for about 19 minutes now. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're gonna go over to some Q and A, and we're gonna go on to the Facebook platform. Actually, we're just going to stay right here 
to because this is subscribers comments so we're going to go to subscribers comments see what people are asking us see if we can do it without messing our live stream okay it looks like it's working pretty good okay I do want to shout out real quick to a David Metz. I did have a video on how I'm going to invest $5 every single trading day into the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF or ticker symbol SCHD. Um, if you want to check that video out, definitely do so after this live stream. But uh, I wanted to uh, give it up for David because he did mention that SCHD is a bit too concentrated for his liking. And, um, you know, it is an ETF um, that holds around 100 stocks, so it's not really too crazy. It's not some of the unprofitable, trashy stocks that other YouTubers are pushing, so thanks, David. And for him, broad market index funds are like 95% of his portfolio, and he kind of speculates only on about 5%. Also, he wants us to keep aware that there is... Um, taxes involved that are a bit different when it comes to dividends so um, that will affect your overall return so thank you david for pointing that out i appreciate that comment and for letting the community know that uh, share some interest and some concerns with those dividends so thank you david uh, let's see another one here now, I'm not sure about this, about maybe putting the comments on the live stream because it is a private group. I do want to keep people's privacy private, obviously. Uh, but maybe there's a way I could incorporate it. Maybe I could do a pop-up thing. This is just the first live stream. I'll come up with some other ideas uh, as time goes on. Is there any other questions? Um, let's see. There's got to be some more. Uh, should we buy SPY or VOO for a growth, for fast growth? This was from a rich, rich uh, Zubs. I guess if I'm saying the name, I'm not really hiding their identity either. So maybe I don't do that. But anyways, basically from our, um, this is from our YouTube community, not our private group. So uh, this is actually public. Maybe I will share it um, with you guys. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, SPY and VOOD, they're definitely going to be good companies to invest in. They're very diversified. Who I do believe pays a dividend. I'm pretty sure SPY does too. So that would be cool. I <laughs> thought I was listening to Jeremy from Financial Education YouTube channel. Holy moly, guys. Yeah, I did say that. There is a Torm stock. Uh, I did a Torm stock video. If you're not sure what Torm is, definitely check the video out. Ticker symbol TRMD. It is a company that's been around since like the 18th century. So it's an old company that you can invest in. But yeah, I was like, holy moly, guys. I got another one. I don't know. The way I said it uh, reminded him of, I guess, Jeremy from the financial education. I do watch his channel sometimes. So. Definitely uh, go over there and show some love for Jeremy as well. He talks so much about the stock market and shares a lot of insight into kind of what's going on, the ups and downs, Fed rate, inflation, stuff like that. So definitely check that out. Let's do a couple more and then we'll go over the goals for 2024. Hey, Chris Cartmel said uh, he he replied on the investing five dollars every day into the SCHD video that uh, he's been investing and been dollar cost averaging into the SCHD for the last couple of weeks. It's been very addicting. Great ETF. Great way to pay yourself before you otherwise spend that money. I manually contribute fifteen dollars a day and forty five on Friday to cover the weekends. 
cool very cool so he started uh, he was dollar cost averaging i'm not sure where he started exactly but it may not have always been 15 dollars. it could have been one dollar or five dollars or maybe he jumped right in at 15 but the point is is he's manually contributing 15 dollars a day and he is doing 45 on fridays to cover weekends as they're closed on saturday and sunday so that is really cool good job chris that's a great way to start your investing journey fifteen dollars is definitely going to comp every single day do some quick math for all you math lovers out there 15 times 30 days okay because he is doing it every single day not just on trading days so usually trading days it only be 20 days in a 30 day period but he's doing 30 days which is fantastic so that is over four hundred dollars a month or fifty uh, a month so that's great that's great contributions good job good job okay let's see any any other ones any questions uh, So I'm not sure uh, why I should even show you guys the screen because there's just a lot of like spam. Get I do get spam. I do get random people saying random stuff. So so here on the Glad stock uh, is still a buy. My Robinhood rewards. And the dividends this was about two months ago you can go check that video out it's a gladstone um land or ticker symbol l a d um basically spells out land uh still a buy right so uh, i do show my monthly dividends from that company as well uh wilco brands says just a video i was looking for I love Glad. Only got 17 shares right now, but climbing every week with regular investments. Starting investing in it about a month ago with spare money I got from Instacart. Okay, okay. So it sounds like he has something that he's selling on because it's going into an Instacart, getting money from something left over, putting it into his investments. He has 17 shares of Glad right now. Now I know from past experience that Glad is actually. He's at about seven cents a share. So you times that by at least 10. He's making 70 cents uh, on 10 shares. Seven times seven is 49. So he's making a dollar and 19 cents. Making a dollar and 19 cents every single month from Gladstone or from land. Now I do believe land is $30 um we can go over to that right now and i could actually bring the screen back up for you guys so you can see where glad is on the screen now the markets are closed already we're gonna bring up gladstone and then oh no we're bringing up land actually land Gladstone Corp is actually really well, pretty much the same uh, dividend ratio. We'll pull up the dividend payment history calendar. Dividend history calendar. I'll pull up the NASDAQ. It's all it's easier. Just some ads on there, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put in land. This is really all I, I wanted to know. We don't even really have to even pull up the Robin Hood. I did want to show you the five year and the dividend yield, right? Because after all, this is an investing channel. I want to share with you some cool stuff. And this is basically what I would do um, if I was researching something, right? If you have a company, yes, 17 shares. He's getting a dividend every month. I want to know how much he's making, right? So uh, basically, we'll let that load for a minute, but let's go to land. So land is $14.07, $14.07. So say his average price is $14. Not bad, not bad. 
we're going to go ahead and ask Siri here, um, just to make it simple, 14 times 17, that's 238, $238 investment, very nice, great, great money to uh, save up there, good job, good job, okay, now it does fluctuate, it did get up as high as $40 April 8th, 2022, it looks like it's going back to some normal lows or normal highs of about $12, $13, dollars uh, It is sitting at $14.07 right now. So with that said, the dividend history, we're going to take a look if it will load. There we go. Dividend history. So it is paying only four and a half cents a share. So it has gone down four and a half cents a share, 4.5. That's okay because that's great because he has 17 of these shares. 17 cents or oh, let's ask Siri again just make it simple for time 17 times 0 0.046 okay about 78 cents right now a month 78 cents a month very good very good okay so this is what I would say to him not bad right the dividend yield is a bit low now if you were to take land and just go over to maybe glad same pretty much company but instead of investing in a bunch of land and different stuff you are actually going to get a nine percent dividend yield eight cent payout so you're literally going to double your money by simply taking your shares if you wanted to out of land and put that same amount of money to glad and you will double your money instantly every month just by doing that one simple thing because as you can see here they're paying 0.825 on the last one you're only getting 0 0.045 still great hey still great but um that's one way you could improve your investment if you're looking for some dividend growth now there are even other companies out here um let's look at SCHD, right? We've been talking about that for a little while on the channel. Now they're getting 65 cents, but it's every quarter, right? But their annual dividend yield is 2.9. It's only, or their annual dividend yield is only 3.87. That's not very much. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Um, so what would I say? You could also do boo. Let's look at Voo. Now, this is an ETF. And I do have a whole uh, $5 challenge that we will be talking about uh, on this channel as well. We're doing $5 a day in a few companies. We're doing, um, we're doing Voo, SCHD, and we're doing Berkshire Hathaway B or RK.B. Um, so, Voo, dividend history. They have a 1.66 dividend yield. That's not very good either. Paying $1.49. Now it's safer, but um, I've had Glad for quite some time and have not had any issues with it at all. Okay, so back to the comments. Let's see if there's one more. Um, okay, uh, Tenzin, Tenzin So Key Channel? And Zentosti, I don't know. Uh, he, he commented on the best monthly paying dividend stocks in 2022. Uh, you have to check that video out as well. He asked if ARR uh, is a good company to invest in if, if they're stable. Um, I did reply to this one, right? Um, this was six days ago. So all these other comments are within the like last couple of days. I need to get in and reply. Now, also one of my goals this year is to reply to every comment within an hour or whoever comments uh, within that first hour I'll be there to um, comment back so it's always good to subscribe and watch that video right when it comes out but basically ARR if you're not familiar with it ARR is not doing very solid right now um, they are armor residential REIT and their five-year projections they're down 82 percent 
and have a dividend yield of 26. So this is a definite dividend yield trap. 26% sounds great, right, guys? Oh, I just invest my money and make 26%. No, it doesn't work like that. Their PE ratio right now is a negative. Okay, so they're actually losing money. This says that their earnings is slowly diminishing. They are a real estate investment trust. They do have $912 million, almost a billion, but they're going down. Their dividend history is 25% dividend yield. They pay $4.80 a year, but it's, it's not very relevant, right? Look, look at their past history. Four cents, and then they went up to 33 cents, and then back down to 19 cents, 17 cents, 10 cents. Now they're at eight cents. Then they went up to 40 cents, which could be making this seem like it's so high. And that was one time on, in October. Now it does pay monthly. That's cool. You're getting eight cents a month, but your, your stock's going down ridiculously. It's down 34%. So you're down $9, but you made whatever eight cents times 12 is, right? It's not very much. That's like dollar. So you made a dollar, but you lost $10. And that's per share. So hopefully you don't own more than one share. And most people do. So no, I would say that is not a good company to invest in. And I should have been sharing my screen the whole time and I wasn't. So I do apologize. One of those things that I, uh, one of those errors on the first time ever doing a live stream. So with that said, ARR would not be one of those companies I would invest in. And, uh, and yeah, and I did not share my screen. So, um, here's a little, a little screenshot of what I was talking about a minute ago showing their dividend history, showing how it was 12 cents, 10 cents, 7 cents, 5 cents, right? 4 cents. And how they're down 34% this year. Here's some of their other stats. Don't invest in these companies, guys. Don't invest in these companies, okay? This one's going completely down. Let me show you at least uh, Glad. I, I've been using this company for a long time. At least there's volatility. In the one year, they're up 11%. And in five years, they're up 42%. Invest in companies that are going up. Don't invest in companies that are going down. It's pointless. They have an 8.9% dividend yield, which is a little bit high. I am going to say it's a bit high for some people that don't have a lot of risk. But it's been paying this out consecutively for a very long time. And the P ratio is at a 9.43. Your earnings per share is slightly going up. Not significantly, not by a lot, but it is slightly going up. I think this is one of those companies I would love to uh, earn to get more shares in. Like right here it shows I sold 16 shares. That was kind of the, the, the high mark. At 159 for only 874 or 974. So it's gone up slightly. Could have held and made more. Right? But did it. So yeah let's get to our final goals and controls or goals for 2024 where are these goals at why does it keep showing 20 okay give me a second i think it auto saved um like i kept doing that it'll let me download it but it's not the right one 2024 right here okay add up perfect perfect okay there we go now that should be sharing my screen okay 2024 is going to be a new year guys always something else to do there's always more goals once you reach those goals there's always a new goal there's always a new opportunity there's always a new obstacle there's always something new that brings something else. That's why you don't want to disrupt anything too much with like the system. Oh, people talk about 
say foxes or birds or even snakes or whatever animal you want to pick is say bad for the environment but you even take that one specific bug out of the equation and something else will begin to overpopulate throws the whole cycle of life off so very well balanced ecosystem it's kind of how you want your life to be and your portfolio and just your goals just everything you want to slowly be progressing but not overdoing it to where you're hurting or causing it compensation either so with that said i got a new quote for the year that i can learn and live by by mark twain nonetheless he says 20 years from now you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the one you did do and i really that really kind of spoke to me too because there's so many things you can do there's so many different areas you can go in life you can be a doctor or a scientist or a lawyer or be um you know writer you can travel the world you can video games you can there's so many different things you can no right answer for yourself basically whatever you feel good and what you feel happy sometimes we get stuck in that trap of basically day to day taking care of bills and sometimes don't it's the point that can be a bit discouraged as well so Having your goals set somewhere, what I like to do is print this out. Now, I did put this on the screen for you guys. It's, it's printed out. It's either on my mirror or it's by my door on the way out. I'm looking at these daily. Um, some people look at them weekly, monthly. But definitely look at it more than once or twice a year. Once a month. That's a good, that's a good start. Right? But if you have it out and you're looking at it, it really helps keep you inspiration motivation and dedication to the boss now the other one that i left was stay committed to the decisions but stay flexible in the approach i was able to memorize that uh, anthony robbins kind of role models online mentors if you will and um this really speaks to you uh, Remember what your main goal is. Be flexible. Oh, you might not be able to get there tomorrow, so be flexible. You might not be able to use this particular resource, so be flexible in using a different resource. So yeah, so these are my goals. You probably already looked at them with all my rambling, but we're going to go through them real quick. I set up eight goals. Really easy. You can do two. You can do one goal. You can do 10 goals. You can do 100 goals. Uh, some people's goal list are are really, really long. I'm happy that this one isn't super long. So um, you can. Uh, my first goal for the year is to grow the Facebook group to a hundred thousand. We are currently sitting at seventy one point six thousand Facebook group members. That's insane to even say out loud. I remember when I started with just yours truly. And then the second person was my wife. So <laughs> we had two people in the group and grown it ever since from definitely go check it out. Investing for beginners. Private group on Facebook, over 70,000 members. We have the largest investing group on Facebook currently. So definitely go check it out, guys. Uh, and then to grow the YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers, that's number two. Uh, we are currently sitting at 3,360. So uh, help us get to 10,000 by just simply subscribing, smashing that like button, and knowing that you are supporting a good cause and joining a great community. Combined, that's almost 80,000 members. So it's free. I don't ask you to buy anything or sell you anything. Just a free community that we could all hang out and share on thoughts and hello welcome welcome to the live stream glad to have you leave a comment question if you have any uh number three is develop a better newsletter for the website now yes there is a website it is investingforbeginners.com go check out the website we have a full functioning website blog 
with um, some books that I recommend to new investors out there. And there is a couple of surprises. There are a couple books that I have written myself. Um, it's two ebooks. They're short and sweet, but they are yours to view. So definitely check them out. Now, if you sign up uh, for the newsletter, you will get a copy of the free book. When you go to the website, you'll see it pop up. Throw your email in. Um, that's all it asks. You'll get subscribed to the weekly newsletter and, and you'll get the free book um, on how financial freedom can be easy. Truly, there's 10 steps. Great little book to read. Check it out. So that was one of my goals back in, I think, 2021, 2022 was to create a book. I put it down. I looked at it every day and it little bit by little bit and to develop 10 step. It's like. 12 or 13 page ebook. Uh, eventually, maybe there'll be thoughts of pocket guide book, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, definitely really cool. We're going to develop a better newsletter for you in the community to showcase some key areas you guys should be looking at or developing to grow from being an investor to being maybe a novice or expert investor. That's the point, right? That's why we're here. We want to learn. Okay, number four, start a biz for or in a community. Yes, that would still be a great option. There's a couple of ideas and a couple of things I've noticed over the last year that I want to possibly do for the community. Just kind of little areas or, yes, little areas that I noticed that we can improve on maybe. So we'll see what that brings for this year. Subscribe for that for sure. I'll be talking more about that. So all these I want to showcase to the public. I'm sure there are a few private goals that I have that probably aren't on here. But uh, as public goals, I think you have, have as many as you want. Like I said, have goals as you'd like. Okay, number five, save and invest 20% of all income. So if you were watching this earlier, you would see that last year I was able save 10% of my income this year. Um, we're actually pushing about 12, 13, 14%, something like that. So just now in January, making to 20% is going to make all the difference. Basically, I'm going to be getting two years for one because I was saving 10% last year, doubling it. So now I'll be saving twice as much this year. The goal for that eventually over time, say by like, say, 30 or 20, 34, saving 50% or maybe 80% of income. That'd be awesome. But again, baby steps. Number six, go to at least three seminars for success. Um, there's only so many books you can read. I mean, there are millions and millions of books. But from reading this past year, I have now more knowledge and experience in different than I did last year. So for this year, I want to push myself to go to at least three seminars or some kind of event or success to give me different experiences and different knowledge in different ways. Um, reading books can be a little bit more introverted. You're in your room, you're quiet, you're alone. Whereas seminars can be really powerful, very social events, very uplifting, loud. You know, it'd be interesting to go to couple this year to see to see the differences and then uh number seven take a family vacation i don't think we actually ever have taken a family vacation actually now that i think about it we did take one one year uh went to universal studios in florida took three of us down it was me, my wife my daughter and my dad we all went like oh your dad went and paid for everything no my dad went i invited him took him along and uh, we stayed in a really nice hotel for two nights. Um, got to go up to Universal Studios for two nights. And so really great experience, a lot of fun. My wife, though, was pregnant at the time with our second child. First child was only five, so she couldn't go on most of the rides, but she can go on, like, the kiddie rides. 
don't talk about Bruno, basically, for my dad. <laughs> uh, so moving on. Number eight would be uh, to create a few more income streams. Now, there are several videos on how to create your own income streams on my channel. Um, I also talk about my old income streams I had. Now, some of those income streams are still relevant. You know, like dividends are going to be there forever for me. But growing the dividend income stream takes longer than people think. Doubling 20 cents to 40 cents uh, is a double. You're making 100% more, but it doesn't feel like it until you start getting into say double triple digits right a hundred dollars a thousand dollars a month you know that's when you could really see big differences but basically creating a few more income stream now i do have a couple of ideas one that may incorporate with uh, the community maybe a couple online also with the actual facebook group we have so many facebook group members so many active members right now that are doing a fantastic job answering questions i have moderators and the group is really growing it's growing really fast um, almost faster than i can maybe keep up with but it's while trying to keep up with the group and the growth and the youtube channel and everything that's going on how do you find time to do smaller other goals you have to find a way to chip away i work easily 50 to 60 hours a week have a family have several other ventures there's still always time you just have to figure out a way in to have that time for yourself so um yeah i mean that's basically in a nutshell those are my 2023 recap the goals that i made but for all of you just tuning in definitely want to check out the live stream once it comes out on youtube so you can go back and um you know i think i hit four out of my seven goals last year so if i can do the same here maybe hit four out of eight or five out of eight goals i would be very happy with that um for next year but yeah um i don't really see too many uh comments on here at the moment um looks like there's a couple people on the live so thank you for watching I may end it here. It looks like we have been running for a little while. Let me go and hit that main screen button. Bam. And we will talk a little bit more with you guys before I head out. Now, we did hit um, 3,350 subscribers, something like that, um, today. And then we did surpass a quarter of a million. Yeah, I got I to gotta show you guys this. This is pretty Come on, bring it up. Where is it? Right here. A quarter of a million views. Now, this was on December 5th, which is awesome. We hit a quarter million views. Investing for beginners community. Great job. Great job. Um, appreciate all your support. All your... Just being here. Just being here, man. Appreciate you guys. Okay, so... With that said, uh, I think that might be where we end this first live stream. Now, we are going to do more live streams. Just not really sure when, what time, and how we're going to set that up technically. Did answer some questions. So if you guys have any comments or questions for the next live stream, you can honestly leave me a comment on any video. And we will either showcase it in the video for next week. Um, I did do some name shout outs this week, um, like Wilco Brands and uh, Tenzinski's So Key channel and Chris. Oh, sorry, Chris. I can't think of the last part of your name, but we did do some shout outs earlier in the video. I may do that some more on the next video. And yeah, ask some questions. Go watch some more videos of mine. I have over 300 now, I believe videos so we are uh pushing up to the 400 mark and before you know it we'll have a thousand videos that you enjoy. that's my goal too i should have put that down as a goal I have a thousand videos on youtube if you do a video a day that's 365 videos i'll be even much closer anyways guys thanks for watching make sure you guys uh, do your research before investing in any stocks do your due diligence 
research, research, research. There's nothing wrong with researching and then researching a bit more. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next live stream. Subscribe so you don't miss it. That's it for now.